What's up guys, it's your girl Nicola, AKA the Calabar Barbie doll. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Zara and Nicola TV. Now, this video I have for you today is something quite special. <laughs> if you may not know, Zara and I recently moved to Nigeria and I found it quite difficult. I didn't find too many videos helping me out, so I'm gonna try and help you out if you plan on moving to Nigeria, any part of Nigeria. Here are my 10 commandments. So what you're going to need for this video is your attention and <laughs> a cup of tea because fine, let me tell you, mm -mm. there's some commandments in here that you won't, let's just get into it. How about that? Alright, commandment number one, thou shall buy a SIM. As soon as you land, I take off that you buy a SIM card. I messed up on that. I didn't have a SIM or a phone for like the first one month I was here. So I was like, oh, uh, I'll call you when I get there or so and so. No, it's, it's, you need to have your own SIM card, okay? There are three main networks I suggest you should use. Nine Mobile, formerly known as Etisalat, or you can get with MTN, MTN is pretty good, and Airtel. I messed up by picking Glow. Glow, I'm sorry, but I have a bone to pick with you. You people drop my call so often, you don't allow me to call. Fix yourselves, just fix yourselves. Commandment number two, thou shall buy data. Now let me tell you something. Data has become my best friend. Why? Because first was God, second was Zara, and now is data. You need your Wi-Fi. It is not like you're going to buy data on your own phone like you do in the States, yeah? And you get like a 10 gigabyte plan for the month or like an, a 12 gigabyte plan for the month. Let me tell you, you can close your eye and open your eye and boom, your data is gone. So what you need to get is a personal Wi-Fi device. I actually have mine right here. I use Intel and I pay 12,500 Naira a month for unlimited. That's as much streaming as I want to do. So Intel is a pretty good company to use. Smile is also a good company. It's 19,800 a month. So it's a little bit more pricey, but the best thing about Smile is it covers a wider area. Intel only works in Lagos, PH and Abuja. So when I went to Kaduna and Wi-Fi said bye-bye, I said, hey, God, how be you? Commandment number three, thou shall download Uber and Taxify. If you don't have a car, if you don't have a family member willing to drive you everywhere, if you don't have a best friend willing to drive you everywhere, you will suffer. Download Uber and Taxify. Those are the two quickest apps. And I would say Taxify is much better well, not much better, but Taxify just recently landed in Abuja. I'm quite excited and quite happy about that because it is cheaper than Uber. Uber, y'all know I have another bone to pick with you. Number four, thou shall stock up on makeup. When I say this, I hope you believe it because let me tell you something. It's difficult to find some of your favorite products here. Like for example, my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, could not find it. Lancome, my uh, 24 Taunt Idol Ultra, could not find it. My Revlon Colorstay, could not find it. So I made sure that I had three of each of those foundations in my shades and maybe a shade darker since it is pretty much summer year round here. And I stocked up. But what you can do is find dupes. There are a lot of Nigerian brands that have dupes. My favorite lashes in the States are actually Lena Lashes by Marlene Amon, love her. But right now I am wearing Fortune White Lashes in the style Nancy. And I just realized that it was a very good mink lash brand. I love them. Zara on Cosmetics, they have an amazing contour kit because one sleek contour kit right now, I said, hey, I'm not gonna be contoured and sculpted for the gods. What would I do? But Zara saved me. I ran out of my favorite brow pencil and House of Tara, y'all, y'all are the goats of the greatest of all times. Y'all came through with that one. Commandment number five, thou must find a reliable, and I mean very reliable, tailor. What I say, tailors have messed me over. Like they really messed me up. I was hosting an event actually, and I needed a dress like within a week. 
the tailor said, oh, I'll come on Wednesday. Wednesday turned into Friday. Oh, I'll come on Friday. Friday turned into Saturday. Yeah, mind you, this event was on Sunday. My guy showed up that morning for the event. Dress ruined. He absolutely ruined the dress. And let me tell you, all these celebrity tailors that you see, not all of them are the best ones to go with. And they are quite pricey because they think that their names will carry them alone. No, your good reputation with your customers is what will carry you. Commandment number six, thou must decide what to do for thine's career. What am I talking about? Basically, I am talking about whether or not you need to do NYSC. Personally, I have not done it. I have not taken part in NYSC. The Nigerian government, I'm sorry, do not come for me. I'll probably go for the next one. No, I won't. Anyways, figure out what you want to do. Either you are working in a government position, you will need NYSC. I'm working in a media position. I don't really need it. Uh, hopefully there won't be a day where I will. But if you want to run in politics, you need NYSC. Commandment number seven. Let me take a sip of tea because mm -hmm, mm -mm. some of y'all need to follow this commandment. True, true. Thou shalt keep thy name holy. A good name is better than all the gold and silver and all the riches in the world. You should not be going out and about just, oh, over here, over there. Oh, I want to go to this party. Oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to do that. If you sleep with one person, let me tell you, people here will carry it and say that you slept with 10. My dear, <laughs> I have heard stories and I have seen with my own eyes things that I cannot unsee. And if you think Nigeria is big, you are very, very wrong. The circle that you're with probably intermingles with other circles in other states. It is insane. So make sure you keep your name as a very good one. Just saying. Commandment number eight. Thou shalt not spread oneself too thin. What am I talking about? My mother always told me that there is much value in scarcity. Basically, pick and choose what events and what social functions you want to go to. I understand that when you come back to Nigeria, you want to go here, go there, experience this, go to that club, go to this club, hang out with this person. You don't have to, because if you choose what events are nicely tailored to what you want to do, it will put you much further in the game and it will get you farther in life. Just keep that in mind. Commandment number nine. <laughs> Thou shall not be swayed by the sweet words of an F boy or a celebrity. Celebrities here in Nigeria, they have dealt with me. Their job is to basically have people fall in love with them and to gain fans. If you see a person popping 10 bottles of like rosé or like ace of spades at the club, close your eye, look the other direction. If you see a celebrity come up to you, oh hey, I heard you're a fan. Number one, do not say, oh my gosh, I'm your biggest fan. Because to them, do you know what they're hearing? Oh my gosh, I would love to sleep with you. I kid you not. I kid you not. And I can actually tell you a story from personal experience. Uh, maybe I'll do that in a story time video like a little bit later, but it's okay. But let me tell you something, yeah? Whenever celebrities or like F boys here in Nigeria, they hear my accent. Do you want to know what they see? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. They basically see this. My blue passport. No, 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 no. People think, oh, hi, my name is Nicole. How are you? Just because you have an American accent, a lot of people are going to come to you. I'm going to tell you that now. And a lot of people are going to be like, oh, so you're from the States, huh? Close your eye. Look the other way. Just look the other way. Now, finally, on to number 10. And this one is a big one. So you know what? This tea. We, we need a little bit of more milk in this tea because, fam, let me tell you. Mm-mm. 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 Last but not least, hmm. thou shalt stay away from married men. Why am I saying this? Because it has happened to me. It has definitely happened to me. Married men will definitely approach you. They will have the ring on their finger. They will still talk to you. They will still collect that number, honey. They will still give you that cash. They will still give you their time and they will still expect you to sleep with them, even though their wife and their children are at home. One married guy came on to me. Ha, huh, this was a double, just a double whammy. He was married and he was a celebrity. He came on to me and I said, no, I can't date you, you're married. He said, I don't see why that's a problem. Sips tea. Oh, oh, it's a big problem. It's a very big problem. Married men will come on to you. Married men will try and chase you. Married men will try and find you. You just have to know to hold yourself. Like whenever a married guy, once you see that ring, make sure, clink, clink, lock your legs. Do not open at, please, just lock your legs and don't open. These are my 10 commandments. If you follow these, I can tell you one thing. You will be very, very, very 
happy and very successful and stress-free in Nigeria. But most of all, my honorary commandment, be yourself. Honey, if you want to wear more makeup, wear more makeup. If you want to dress loudly, dress loudly. If you want to just enjoy life, enjoy life. There's nothing wrong with being yourself. If you start to act fake, people will catch on to that. So make sure that you go out there and you live your life to the fullest, but follow these 10 commandments because fam, you will definitely be successful on longer in the future. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video because I definitely enjoyed making it. And I know my friend Bailey's definitely enjoyed appearing in it. I'm just saying. Anyways, I'll catch you next time in our next video. But make sure you do my four things I always say. Comment down below if you want more videos and any ideas, any videos you want to see. Make sure you like videos like this. I know that's a ton of likes, but go ahead and thumbs up this video. If you want more commandments for just everyday life, I don't know. Make sure you share this video with any and everybody because I think anyone moving to Nigeria they, they need this video. We, we all know they need this video. But last but not least, make sure you subscribe to our channel because if you support us, you're joining the family of Zara and Nicola TV. All right, you guys, I'll catch you later. Much love.